Good morning everybody. Today is Monday and if you are watching this, you are going to be fortunate enough to spend an entire video watching a week in the life of a final year dentistry student named Tamsin. Um, <laughs> hopefully I can get to do some interesting things this week and yeah, we're going to kickstart my day this morning with an extraction in OFC. So let's get straight to it. So we're halfway through Monday and I've already had one successful extraction session as well as a very long session of taking x-rays. My dad is a dentist and as like a side project, my family and I take impressions and make mouth guards for basically all sorts of people at schools and clubs for basically any kind of sport. But the plan for my day is to spend most of the afternoon doing that and then to head home, pack my stuff and head to the gym for a last little gym session before ending off my day. I always find that Tuesdays are a very weird day for me because unlike our Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, which are purely days where we see patients, our Tuesday morning is a day where we have in-person lectures. So I'm almost waking up expecting that the day is going to be a pretty short day and it ends up being the complete opposite. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a weird thing for me because we end up seeing patients in the afternoon as well. So at the end of my Tuesday, I'm quite drained, but today we have maxillofacial pathology followed by oral facial surgery and then odontology before I head off into the clinic to do my denture delivery where I bumped into the one and only Johan <laughs> like I always say and Johan always laughs at me like <laughs> I like to deal with my problems now and not make it future Tamsin's problems because future Tamsin has quite a few problems already so <laughs> my advice is to just do it as you get it and make sure you're not behind because if you're on top of things everything seems a little bit more manageable and you can kind of take it all one bite at a time. Wednesday morning off to a good start where I began with an odontology session. I am seeing a patient that is one of my friend's denture patients because they need some restorative work done. Today's Wednesday, so on Wednesdays we wear pink. finally home. I actually ended up finishing pretty late on campus. I had to sign off some treatment plans for perio, but I was actually supposed to be at Nepal practice from about four to six this evening playing for Health House. But due to the rain, I decided that that probably wasn't a good idea since I was going to get there late to start off with. And as most of you already know, I'm pretty clumsy, pretty likely to fall even standing on my own two feet. So I thought playing on a wet Nepal court, probably not the best idea. So I gave that a little bit of a skip. <laughs> Don't feel like breaking any wrists. Um, but I actually came home and had coffee with my mom, which was quite nice. She came through from Joburg, so it was quite nice to do something different and good way to end my evening before I take a really hot shower in the <laughs> cold weather that we're having today and climb into bed later to watch some series. That's, that's how I'm spending my evening. So today's a bit of a strange day for me because for once I actually am not on campus. 
Um, I've kind of gotten used to being on campus pretty much every day, even if it's for just a little bit, whether it's lectures in the morning, patients in the afternoon, or a full day of patients. I kind of find myself on campus, even if it's just for a meeting or lab work. So I'm pretty much there every single day. And I kind of like it that way. I've kind of taken advantage of the fact that we can be on campus. I feel very sorry for those students that got denied the opportunity to be on campus. And I'm very grateful for the opportunities that we have in order to socialize with people, learn from people and utilize the facilities that we have available because we do actually have amazing facilities. Um, having been there for five years, I think it's <laughs> become, I've become a lot more appreciative of them, but it's quite weird to not be on campus for me. And for that reason, I decided that since I have online lectures today, I am going to have my friend Henning come over and we can do our online lectures together. So that means that Henning kind of got to witness me firsthand doing my POH presentation this morning, which <laughs> I feel sorry for him because everybody else kind of just gets to listen to me do it, whereas Henning had to see me stressing beforehand as I am a little bit OCD and I need to get like all my ducks in a row and I had lots of ducks. So <laughs> um, but it was nice to have him here, nice to not have to do online lectures alone, kind of adds that little social aspect to my day. But for the rest of my day, I am just kind of chilling at home, doing what I want to do, breaking down the day a little bit into a little bit of baking here, watching series here, reading my book. Um, and I think that's a good opportunity for me to be able to tell people that dentistry is, it's very long. It's a very, very long degree. Firstly, it's, it takes up a large portion of your life in terms of, I mean, you're there for very many years, but it's also a long day it's a lot of work in every single day and so i think it's important to be able to have outlets almost whether that be going to the gym or reading a book or going out with your friends or phoning your family or whatever it is you kind of need something that's a little bit of an, an escape take your mind off dentistry kind of talk about something else have a laugh have i don't know nice food i love snacks everybody knows i love snacks so <laughs> um but I think it's important to be able to have things that make you happy that aren't dentistry. It makes you appreciate being on campus a lot more. I look forward to the days that I get to go to campus and see my patients when I've had a break from it. I find it gets a lot if you end up doing literally nothing but dentistry for like very, very many days in a row. So it's nice to literally just say, hey, tonight I'm actually just going to focus on me and I'm going to have a series night because I really do like my series nights. And <laughs> it's important to do that because you need some new time as well. You can't just kind of give yourself entirely to dentistry, although I know it requires a lot of yourself. Um, but that kind of boils down to it goes down to first year level and all the way up. So the last thing that I'll be doing before I head to bed for the evening is the same thing that I do every single night, which is to phone my favorite person in the entire world who is living very, very far away from me at the moment. But Manguzi is lucky to have a dentist as amazing as he is. So the way I end off pretty much every night is with a phone call to have one just to finish off my day, tell him about what I got up to, hear about all his adventures that side and then head off to sleep. So yeah, that will be the rest of my day. Finally Friday and finally the end of a very long week for me, but I have started off my day today with a very prosthetics full day. I was supposed to be seeing a new patient in removable prosthodontics, however that patient cancelled, which means that I was really lucky because I could go and see my mom for coffee. I drove to Mainland to go and meet up with her, which is really nice because I got to see my mom three times this week, which is three times more than I usually see her in a week. Fixed prosthodontics in the afternoon for me, which was quite nice because I was seeing a brand new patient, so I was doing an examination, taking some x-rays and taking some impressions.
that kind of wraps up my week, ends off my week with a really good note and I am planning to head off for dinner tonight with my family to start the long weekend where I'm then going to, as I frequently tell people, do nothing and sleep the whole weekend. But as most people do know, that is probably not going to happen and I'm probably going to end up doing some work. At least I'm getting a little bit of it done and it makes my week a little bit less chaotic when I am back. So yeah, that's a good way to end a Friday for me and I'm hoping that dinner tonight will be really fun. thought that today I'll end my day on a little bit of a, a grateful note because although dentistry has very many up days and very many down days and very many days where I am very frustrated and want to lose my mind it has also got so many positives and I absolutely love what I do but I also couldn't be here without the support of my amazing family and the support of my friends and the support of my boyfriend and <laughs> the support of my clinical partner who has to listen to 90% of my rants during the day but it's quite a humbling experience to be able to do dentistry and see the difference that you make in patients lives and how you touch their lives and change their their outlook and their smiles and you really do and can make a big difference and I really am grateful for the opportunity to do so and at the same time I'm a little bit sad that at like heading towards middle or final year I'm not going to be able to have the same experience I've had through the last five years where my friends are not going to be in the same place as I am anymore and I'm not really going to be <laughs> doing the same things with the same people so I think fifth year really really takes a little bit of a slow down pace in terms of appreciating what you do have and the difference that you can make and how far you've actually come so I think that's a it's a pretty nice way to to end an evening on a, a grateful appreciative note but yeah thank you to all the people who've made a really big difference in my life and I hope I've managed to make as big a difference to some other people's lives too.